Hello, my name is Madison Cloutier and I will be your presenter today. My objective is to introduce you to the Monza System CloudDrop product via a demonstration. If you are a Salesforce user and are having problems related to file storage within the Salesforce environment, such as uh, you're trying to store files that are larger than the limit uh, accepted by Salesforce, or you're storing a large number of files, which makes it difficult to uh, manage uh, their organization and for your people to find the appropriate information they're looking for, or you're finding that you're just spending a lot of extra money on uh, file storage, then you're going to find this 10-minute uh, uh, presentation very useful. Now, uh, before I get started with the presentation, just to give a quick overview of CloudDrop, it is a force.com application that allows you to utilize the Rackspace uh, cloud storage uh, directly from Salesforce okay, for storing and accessing files. If you're not familiar with Rackspace, uh, you can visit their website for more information. But in a nutshell, it is a cloud storage infrastructure that allows you to store files in the cloud, i.e. the Internet, and then access them from anywhere in the world using any kind of standard browser. Now, CloudDrop is actually a plug-in to uh, Salesforce that allows uh, basically for you to connect Salesforce Rick, with Rackspace. It is an App Exchange uh, application, and you can uh, download that uh, from the App Exchange uh, website. Uh, just uh, regarding some features, uh, CloudDrop will allow you to store up to a 5 gigabyte file, which can then be easily accessed via URL. You can designate files for uh, public or private access. Uh, you have the ability to create folders within folders, so you can uh, build a fairly complex hierarchy to uh, better organize your files. Uh, CloudDrop also has a version control, and you can also uh, easily find uh, files that you're looking for via our advanced uh, search capabilities. Now, CloudDrop does work within the uh, not only within the uh, Salesforce environment, but also in the customer and partner portals. It works with any uh, standard or custom objects and uh, even uh, custom visual pages. And it usually utilizes the standard uh, Salesforce security access at the object level, so you don't have to really set up anything addition regarding the security. Uh, also, uh, just so you kind of know where we're going in the future, um, we are going to be adding the ability to capture uh, web form attachments, uh, automatically store email attachments. Uh, we're adding the uh, ability for uh, mobile support for uploading and accessing files. And we'll be enhancing usability by uh, allowing you to move and copy uh, files, plus uh, some drag and drop capabilities. So uh, with that, let's uh, get into a demo here. Now you'll recognize this. This is kind of a standard uh, home page for Salesforce. And you'll notice some new tabs up here that once uh, CloudDrop has been installed, uh, you will have a CloudDrop tab. Clicking on this will take you to uh, a general area where these files are accessible to anybody that uh, has uh, access to uh, Salesforce within your organization. Have files, as I mentioned, you can do folders uh, and even can have uh, folders uh, within folders. And uh, there's some data sheets and then looking uh, even, uh, so like I say, hierarchies can be fairly uh, complex. To upload a file, uh, very easy, basically you go to uh, New Documents, uh, go to a Browse capability. Uh, would look here, and let's do uh, let's, let's the uh, CloudDrop data sheet. You could then give a little description of what that uh, is if you wanted to. You could also give it a version name. Let's say this is a final version, as opposed to maybe a draft or something previous to that. Uh, we'll actually keep uh, track of version numbers. So if you upload the same file uh, with the same name, uh, it will create different versions for that. And this is where you'd put some keywords in to help with the search uh, capability later. And uh, let's just say this is a cloud drop and this is a data sheet. Here's where we would specify whether we want this to be a private or public file. We'll make this one public and then we'll do an upload. So this will take a second as it uploads the file from my computer up into the cloud. Okay, so now we're kind of back at the uh, main tab here for the cloud drop. Uh, just to show the uh, search feature works real quick, since I have uh, different areas for FAQs, quotes, uh, data sheets, and the like, let's say I wanted to see everything related to cloud drop. So I could uh, just say input cloud drop, do a search, 
And here again, it's searching through all the keywords. So here I would have all the files related to my cloud drop data sheets, FAQ, sample quotes, success stories, and even the login. Here's the file we just uh, uploaded. Uh, the cloud drop data sheet. Here's the information you would see regarding that, the name, the keywords, uh, version, whether it's uh, public or uh, private. I wanted to pull up the file. I could just click on that. And, uh, here's our uh, information. Uh, also, if I wanted to make this available to somebody outside the organization, here's the URL I could send them, or I could click on a send email. It would automatically generate an email, uh, including the URL. If I wanted to see the classic view, here again, kind of the standard uh, Salesforce view of a stored file, um, here that is, and going back to the custom view, okay, and uh, likewise uh, under uh, actual objects, so let's go to a lead here, and we'll pull up John uh, Gardner. And you'll see that we actually have a, a sales or a, a cloud drop section within here. Now, only this is where the security comes in that only people that would have access to this particular object would have access to the files that are related to it. Now, what I'd like to show you, uh, we're looking, this is at uh, John Garner's record within Salesforce. Uh, also, like I said, we do have a, a partner and customer uh, portal support. Just to show how this would work from a uh, partner portal perspective, I mean, you recognize this. This is a home page for a, a partner a portal. Uh, if I go to leads, I uh, let's see some of the same names. Here's uh, John again. And let's say I'm a partner working with you, and uh, I have been talking with John, and I've just recently got a update of uh, some requirements that he has, and I want to upload that file. Here again, I would uh, kind of just the same way as it was working in the Salesforce environment. It's going to work very similarly here. Select the file. I could give it a version name. Um, we call it a requirement. Uh, here again, I can make it public or private. And uh, then I hit the upload. And at this point, it's uploading it uh, via the portal into um, Salesforce. So as you can see, that is now available. There, we just uploaded it. And if I go back to my Salesforce environment, here again, we're under uh, John Gardner. I'll need to hit the uh, uh, refresh screen. And you will see that now this file is also um, uh, showing up here. OK. So um, hopefully, this gives you kind of a quick overview of um, how uh, uh, the cloud drop uh, system works and um, what I'd like to do here is just to show that um, for additional information here is our website you can go to uh, monsasystem.com slash cloud drop also we have available there a 30-day free trial which you, you can download to actually give the system a try it out see how it works for you if it's going to meet your needs if you have any specific questions you can send us an email or we'll respond to as quick as possible or you can call us uh, for quicker responses to email please put uh, cloud drop in the subject line that way we'll know what it's in reference to and also just for your information we do have a pricing comparison model in which we can uh, share with you basically the variables of this model are uh, the number of uh, users that you have Salesforce users as well as the uh, total amount of uh, file storage you need you have in gigabytes and uh, you can actually then see a pricing comparison uh, using the uh, rack space uh, cloud storage uh, storage is uh, basically about 15 cents per gigabyte per month so very very economical so uh, if you're using a large amount of uh, file storage you could see some very significant savings and with that I'd like to uh, thank you for your time and goodbye